And he was running. It's the J. Craig Movie Review. Movie Review. A movie with you. Hey everybody, welcome back to the J. Craig Movie Review. I'm Jay, and this time I am solo. That's right, I got stood up by my 11-year-old today. Wouldn't join me to see Mission Impossible 25. All right, so this is Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1. And holy crap, what an awesome movie. This is going to destroy the summer. This is going to make a oodles and oodles of money. Uh, Tom Cruise is back at it again with his usual cohorts, Vig Rames, Simon Pegg, uh, Rebecca Ferguson, as well as some other oldies and goodies that you've seen in the other movies. Uh, this is, what, the seventh, I think, now? Uh, and i got to tell you, from the last... Well, from Ghost Protocol on, they have been amazing movies. I mean, really top-notch. The fact that they're intertwining the stories now instead of being separate missions, they're all kind of leading in a certain direction. Uh, I've been floored. Well, the Brad Bird one from um, uh, Ghost Protocol through the Christopher McQuarrie's uh, Ghost um, Rogue Nation, Fallout, and now Dead Reckoning Part 1. Um, again, this is Christopher McQuarrie. He's a fantastic filmmaker, an awesome writer. So um, I expected nothing but the best in this movie. I had really high expectations. I thought Fallout was phenomenal. I love Fallout. I love Henry Cavill with the mustache. I mean, come on. Yeah. Okay. So this movie will blow you up. Blow you away. It's amazing. It is simply what you waited for this summer. It is phenomenal in almost every way. Now, you know Tom Cruise is going to be running, and he is. At least three times in this movie, he is running, and he's running fast. That's right. You always have a Tom Cruise running scene. It's a typical uh, motif for Tom. So, um, uh, you know, the fact is you know this guy is going to make it through it. There's a part two coming, right? So you know Tom Cruise is going to make it, yet I was floored and constantly gripping my my seat like it was like white knuckle grabbing this was just a phenomenal movie as far as action goes writing story good humor good good moments good characters uh this one stars also Haley atwell that's right she is uh peggy carter um that's really all i know her is from marvel i haven't really seen her in much i don't think but uh, i love Haley atwell and she is phenomenal in this movie uh they wrote a, a character just for her they wanted her in this movie and um she has a great arc. I mean, she looks like she doesn't belong because she's she's just a thief. And she's getting thrusted into all this action. And she's like, she's like, I don't know what I'm doing here. And it looks amazing. She plays it off so well. It's fantastic. I um, I got to tell you, there's a couple sequences in this movie, especially with a chase. There's a, there's a really fun, inventive car chase. Uh, you always have a car chase, motorcycle chase, something like that inside these movies. And this one has a really good inventive one that I was really enjoying a lot. Um, especially with Haley's driving, because again, she's not used to this, so she's like just crashing everywhere, and it's Tom Cruise's reactions are just brilliant. I love it. Uh, and then there's a really harrowing train sequence. You've anybody who's played, um, well, if you've seen Jurassic Park two, there's a good moment where something's hanging over the cliff there with the RV. You have uh, Uncharted did this with um, a, a train hanging over a cliff, and this has something very similar, and it is. Deftifying. I mean, it is pretty awesome. Like to the point where I'm like, oh my god, how is he gonna make it? Is he gonna make it? Is he gonna make it? Of course, he's gonna make it. But that's what a good movie does. You know, it it really it makes you believe. It makes you believe even your hero is gonna not make it. That's what makes Indiana Jones movies so amazing. Is that you saw Harrison Ford doing these stunts and you knew that he was you know out there and that made it believable. Tom Cruise is the man when it comes to stunts. This movie also stars, uh, I don't know her name, I can't pronounce her name, but she's the Mantis in the Guardians of the Galaxy movies, and her character is really, really fun. Uh, I mean, I tell you, this is a a heck of a lot of fun. Um, The action, the the, the dialogue, the writing, everything about it is phenomenal. So make sure you go see it, yet you're going to. I mean, Tom Cruise is on a roll, and he can't be stopped. It's uh, all that alien blood, I think, or whatever. So anyway, it's phenomenal. Go check it out. Oh, oh, okay. This is a part, I wanna, I, I'm looking at Spider-Man for a moment here, okay? Uh, Spider-Man 2, or Spider-Man whatever this uh, Spider-Verse movie was, two, four, two hours and 45 minutes with no real ending. There's no, there's a climax in a way, but there's, not, there's no ending to that story, it's just a continuation for the next one. 
This is how you do a part one ending. There is resolution. There is a finish to this particular mission, this particular story, but it leads to the next one. That's how you do it. That's what I really, really disliked about the Spider-Man movie. It just, it ended and you're like, what? I gotta, that? That's your ending? Oh, to be continued. Well, thank you. All right, but this is how you do it because Christian McQuarrie knows what he's doing. So go check it out. Don't forget to like and subscribe, follow and all that good stuff. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. See you next time. It's the J. Craig Movie Review.